This is a quick tip on uh, how to slice up a large n-gon into quads in Modo. Um, this oil drum was modelled using this cylinder primitive and one drawback of using this method is you always end up with this large n-gon either side of your mesh. So the um, problem with this is that if you go into reflection mode and look at your mesh in close up you're going to see there's lots of artefacting, it's not a clean model. So how do we tidy this up quickly? Well, we're going to go to the Mesh Edit tab, the Modeling Tools, and use the Slice Tool. Now there's one thing you need to know about the Slice Tool, is this will slice across your entire mesh, which is not necessarily what you want. So what you have to do is to hide the parts of the mesh that you do not want to affect. So what we're going to do is hit the Shift Tab key, and then just select our large end gone, Shift H to hide the rest of the model, and go into the top view, and now we can use the slice tool and just cut up this particular polygon. So select the slice tool, make sure angle snap is on, turn snapping on and put it into vertex mode. Now you should be able to click and snap onto the top vertex, draw a perfectly straight line down onto the vertex below it. Then hold the shift key so that you don't have to drop the tool, just reactivate it and make two slices either side of your original slice. Now you can slice up any even numbered cylinder this way. Um, this particular cylinder was created with 24 sides but you should be able to deal with any number of even sides which I shall demonstrate later on in the video. So what you have to do is um, leave the corner vertices uncut. I'll show you what I mean. So these vertices should not be sliced and the reason for this is that you want these corner polygons to be quads. Now at first glance you might think they look like triangles but they're not. They're quads because they've got these vertices in the corner. So now that we've done that we can simply unhide the rest of our geometry go shift tab and examine it in reflection mode and you can see there is no artifacting we've got a clean mesh. So there's one final thing you might want to do which is to add a loop slice at the very edge to give a nice crisp edge. So the way I'm going to do this is select these central polygons, hit shift up arrow to go right to the edge, hit the B key to activate the bevel tool and make sure snapping is off. Click in the viewport and just do a 2mm bevel. Now if we go back to reflection mode we can see we've got a really crisp edge. So to finish the tutorial I'm going to demonstrate that um, an end gone with any number of even sides can be sliced up this way. So this is an eight sided end gone. So if we activate the slice tool, make sure angle snap is on and put vertex snapping on, we can slice this into four even quads. Same with a ten sided, activate the slice tool, cut that down the middle. Now we can't cut it exactly down the middle on the uh, horizontal so we have to slice it here and here but we still end up with six quads same with a um, 12 sided slice it here and here and then here and here now what all these shapes have in common is that you have to leave these corner vertices otherwise you're going to end up with triangles so to make sure that you've got quads in the corners always make sure that you don't slice these last two um, sets of vertices into triangles. So here's a 14 sided, you slice that like so and then one more time vertically like this and then 16, 18, 20, 22 24 and you can see that every single iteration has got these corner vertices so just remember not to slice those up okay i think i hope that's been helpful and uh, thank you very